Former NBA head coach Phil Jackson is uh, known for popularizing the triangle offense. Uh, he convinced Michael Jordan to embrace it. Uh, later on, he would uh, convince Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant, though Kobe at times tried to break out of it, uh, but convinced them of, of it as well. And uh, ultimately, this led to six NBA championships in Chicago during the 1990s, three championships during the Shaq Kobe era and two more championships for Phil Jackson at the helm toward the end of the 2000s for a total of 11 NBA championships. This was an offense that was very devastating to uh, its opponents. But Phil Jackson was not the architect of this offense. It was a um, rather non-distinguished white-haired man who sat next to Phil Jackson. He was a fixture in Chicago if you were watching him uh, back in the uh, 80s and 90s by the name of Tex Winter. Tex Winter died today at the age of 96. Tex Winter was a Hall of Fame caliber coach in his own right. In fact, he was inducted into the College Basketball Hall of Fame in 2010 and the Naismith Memorial uh, Basketball Hall of Fame in 2011. Uh, Tex Winter uh, broke into the college ranks as an assistant with Kansas State back in 1947. In 1952, he became the youngest uh, head coach in the country when he became coach of Marquette to save Marquette, which decades later would produce Hall of Famer Dwayne Wade. He would return to Kansas, uh, Kansas State uh, a few years later and would have a very a successful run with that uh, team. In the early 1970s, he broke into the NBA ranks and became head coach of the Houston Rockets. And uh, he flipped back and forth from the pros to college until 1985 when he became an assistant coach with the Chicago Bulls. And as fate would have it, a few years later, after Doug Collins was fired by the Chicago Bulls and Phil Jackson was promoted to head coach, magic was created and a tandem uh, was formed that would lead to one of the greatest successes for any NBA club uh, ever. I remember um, one time during the 1997 playoffs when the Bulls were playing the Washington uh, Bullets. They were still the Bullets at that time. Uh, I think it was the last two games they played as the Bullets, as a matter of fact. And it was game two, and uh, Michael Jordan, uh, normally at that time, Jordan had embraced the triangle offense. He didn't force anything, but Jordan was – playing one-on-one -on -one, pretty much, you know, taking shots. And he was in the zone. And Tex Winter was really pissed off. I mean, the fans were uh, enthralled by Jordan's individual scoring performance, but Tex Winter was pissed off because Michael was pretty much ignoring the triangle to the point where he had to actually apologize to Tex Winter after the game. Uh, those who remember, old enough remember, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but after the Jordan era, Tex Winter uh, came along with Phil Jackson over to the Lakers and uh, more success using that offense. Uh, Tex Winter was, by all accounts, a great person. And uh, for the last few years, Tex Winter had been in ill health. He suffered a stroke back in 2009. Uh, his wife had been ill uh, as of late, and uh, sad news. I mean, I was kind of wishing that Tex would make it to 100, uh, but he made it to 96. Very long life. Rest in peace, Tex winner.